Now, your weather alert forecast. Good evening on 3 News Now. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Seppin with this latest weather update for 3NewsNow.com. After a couple of showers early in the morning, most of the day has been dry for us. It has been warm and humid, really just muggy outside. That will continue for most of the evening. There could still be a couple stray showers trying to pop up, maybe an isolated storm over western Iowa, but it does wind down pretty quickly once the sun goes down, but the storm chances really ramp up here by early tomorrow morning. If you're a light sleeper, well, you might have some problems because we're going to see some strong storms possibly even severe, stretching from Wayne, Norfolk, Fremont, Lincoln, and Beatrice. Most everybody being impacted by this during the early morning hours, and there is the potential that some of these storms could become severe. They will be rolling through probably between about 4 to 6 o'clock in the morning over the Omaha Metro, racing off to the east of us, but we'll still see some scattered storms across the area as the commute gets underway, starting off in the mid to even upper 60s, and strong south winds blowing in. Could see some gust up to about 25 miles an hour. Catch a little break here late in the day, so really right around lunch time, calmer conditions, still a strong east wind blowing in, temperatures in the mid to even upper 70s. More storms start forming back to the west of us, but stay away until late in the evening. So after about 9, 10 o'clock, storms will continue to develop once again between Wayne, Norfolk, Columbus, Fremont, and Tacoma, and move through the Omaha Metro probably just before midnight. So we could see another round of some strong and even severe storms impacting us late in the evening. As far as the threat for tomorrow, again, we're looking at a slight risk for most of the area, and I think the heavy and worst of it will fall during the early morning hours up until about maybe six, seven o'clock in the morning with hail possibly about an inch in diameter, could be even larger, wind gust of at least 60 to 70 miles an hour. So if you have any patio furniture, anything outdoors that you don't want impacted, any plants, I would recommend covering up tonight or bringing them inside so that you don't have any impacts. And heavy rain is going to be significant with this line moving through early in the morning. So I've got an 80% chance for rain in the morning. And then late in the evening, we'll see another cluster of storms developing. We could see some activity early Saturday, late in the evening on Saturday. Doesn't mean it's going to rain all day long. Almost the same situation for Sunday. That will scale the heat back a little bit with highs in the low 80s for both days. And by early next week, once we start drying things out, we really see the heat building across the area with highs in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees going into next week.